What is up everyone? Welcome back for more Exos Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to discuss my 100 days state of the game review of Exos Heroes. What's been good so far, the bad that needs to be improved, and the ugly that needs to have a drastic change. But before that, if you want to see more Exos Heroes content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Let us start with what is good so far with the game. So the reward system and the freebies which includes your 7 day gifts which we recently concluded. Um, I think so far this has been one of the best rewards that they have given out. The login rewards which gives you your levy stones is also a good one. And um, for your account level up, recently we've had a reward system bump up to level 60. I just wish that uh, they made it Zest instead of Nation Tickets. Um, I hope they would um, try to correct this in the future, but we'll see. And the last one would be our Attendance Book. So the Attendance Book uh, yields a lot of good uh, items uh, once every day if you log in. Then the next that we'll be discussing is the Fate Core system. So the Fate Core system addresses our duplicates. It gives and provides us very good enhancements to our heroes and um, it uh, provides a way in which we can strengthen our heroes. The duplicate system for this one, um, you either enhance it sorry you either transcend it or you fusion it to your existing fate core heroes the third one would be of course the graphics the graphics is very appealing um the the one thing that uh, has made me play exos heroes is the graphics and who does not like the graphics in this game uh pretty much very sleek very much unique and very appealing to the eyes that is all i want to say about that the daily grind includes online tasks and offline tasks as well so it's very manageable time friendly especially if you have a lot of things during the day and also you ha you can also do offline exploration which makes or saves you time in terms of mining for resources so the daily grind is very very important to players especially me i also have a full-time job so i would rather um, uh, have a quick battle for those for those areas in which i have enough but uh, combat power ready and it saves me time in playing the game especially if it's very repetitive it doesn't require any strategy so for this one i really like this part of the game the next would be your core memory and also your core sharing so core memory and core sharing especially for core memory it's recently been added to enhance the game to enhance your heroes to bump up your stats and also for core sharing you know why I like this? It's because it doesn't cost you a lot. Um, it's part of the faith course that you get. And also for core sharing, it's part of the faith course that you have pulled previously. So it's, you just have to slowly grind this out, especially the core memory with your um, squadron mates, so that you could improve or improve the fusion level of each fate core so i like this very much because it doesn't take a lot out of a player and it doesn't cost that much the next one would be your recruitment banner pt system so this one is um very unique to exorcist heroes because not a lot of games have this one sometimes players grind for a character or a hero in a banner and ultimately even how many they 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 summon for or recruit for they can't even get it for for attaining specific number of pulls unlike exos heroes this is a very good system 
in which players can eventually get um, the hero that they want to summon uh, as long as they hit the, the number that is required. The other one is your Holy Dragon Grounds because Holy Dragon Grounds is very strategic and it involves you combining um, specific number of heroes with different abilities with different roles and it's full of strategy especially when the element changes every day and uh, you have to swap out heroes for that specific daily for example fire and you have to break the dragons um, guard the stones so it it gives players um, a way to showcase their strategic prowess in terms of mixing and match heroes who to level up um, who to pair with who who to include in this team and um, more or less also have a good sense of balancing out the players or sorry balancing out the heroes that you want to balance out especially in leveling them up and one last thing about what's good about exos heroes is the energy system so um the energy system is your levy stones which you're usually using for offline exploration leveling up of heroes and uh, when the core raid uh, pops up you use it there so it's very abundant in the game you can farm them daily and you can have a lot um, and usually when when it uh, recharges it recharges quickly that is what I really want as well so here now is the bad so <laughs> This is actually guys my opinion or only so this these or these uh, parts of the game needs to be worked out because the bad is not really that bad but it symbolizes what uh, will work well if they tinker with it just a little bit so to start off is our inventory system so what pisses me off in this one is even if you equip the gear or the weapon already you still uh, have it in your inventory so this should be taken out once a, a, a hero is equipped with equipment so right now even if you're even if your hero equips it it's still in inventory count and it's a bummer that you have to upgrade your inventory count every now and then for this i don't like the system and i hope they change it or probably have a small tweak at it the next with your the next is your core rate pass or your exos pass your core rate pass and exos pass is is quite a bit good already they did a couple of reworks in the last few um few what do you call this few deployments of this especially for the recent ones so they upped already the the uh, what do you call this the prizes that you're going to get for each level that you reach um, my only complaint for this one is the cost of the exos pass or the core raid pass it's not really uh, mid-level spender uh, friendly it's pretty much expensive for a monthly expense so i hope that they could uh, bring down the, the cost for this one and um, i think more players can enjoy core raid pass and exos pass the next is actually very common since we started playing the game so it's the community communication every time I review a patch or an update I find myself always 
what you call this always understanding what I'm reading in this game where it is very important to understand what you read because especially if if you're reading skills it needs to be accurate enough big so that you could understand on how to use it and how it affects your character and the other characters or even the enemy so I wish that they could fix this one because this is a very simple problem in terms of fixing the grammar and what do they want to convey as a message to their community so this is a quick fix if they just do this right the next one would be your door creation so for your door creation well the door creation is pretty much okay already but my my contention for this one is I think they should change some of the currency requirements some of the currency requirements involve says and some of them in involve solar seals so especially this wherein you you're trying to save these up for recruitment I think they should take that out and replace it with some something else or let's say for example if it's this it should be not random so it should be selected the next one is your holy water of the universe farming so so I would just like to say that I think they should improve the drop rate of their holy water of the universe um, because this lately has been an important uh, currency in terms of blessing up to six star and also being used in the awakened system so with with those two uh, requiring a lot of holy water of the universe I think they should at least improve the drop rate for this one so recently I think I've, I've seen a little bit of a an increase but I think they should provide us with more ways on how to acquire this um, I think recently for the core raid and the exos raid pass um, I, I think this can be acquired but for explorations uh, I think they should at least give us two instead of one if it drops so I think this one needs an improvement uh, further the next would be your zest farming so, so the current um, farming of zest is okay kind of okay but where where we consume it is um, I think um, it has to be changed so right now the the main um, the main function of this is uh, to recruit or to summon heroes but sometimes this is consumed in other other parts of the game like for example um, your hero element change um, needs to be needs to be not ram random again um, also you you're using this in your dice and also your obtaining equipment in the forge um, also using this so I'll discuss more on these later but so far um, this farming has been okay but the problem is you're using it other than recruitment why just don't they you know use zest for recruitment and uh, use other currency for other things in the game the next would be our combat system which i think had a very good improvement lately in terms of changing the mana sources during combat i think it was a big change um, I'm, I'm not sure if if the community noticed it uh, uh, and and how how their teams played but it brings out more strategy improvement to existing heroes but I think the combat system overall 
has um, a little bit more of space to grow. Um, it's uh, it's pretty much very kind of rough in terms of uh, in terms of tweaking the the combat system but so far they have been going in the right direction the next would be your path of trials so your path of trials it's um, well for me it's not that interesting it's just a harder um, stage of the existing stages in which it's very reliant on combat power of your heroes and that's it you don't really involve a lot of strategy here it's just uh, leveling up your characters to a certain combat power and most of the time it usually works the next with uh, is our pvp so i think the pvp has been in a, dif a different or better state recently with uh, the the nerfing of the first guardians because of iris and um also with the again related to the combat system the mana source change so it's no longer dependent on elements for you to get your mana so it would depend on your placement or strategy or formation of your heroes so and my other thing that I, I would like to point out with the other enhancements to to the heroes that has uh, uh, come out i think the whales have been given a lot of uh, a lot of room to separate from the pack. um it gives less uh it gives less um importance now to the mid-level spenders because of uh, what do you call this because of your signature force and your awakened system so well pvp is again going to a direction where it's being tweaked but i hope eventually uh, mid-level spenders would be given a chance to compete with the whales not just the whales breaking away from everyone the next would be your labyrinth so your labyrinth when I started the game was very interesting and um, this is where we could uh, farm a lot of zest before it was changed right now I think the only disappointing thing with the labyrinth is the rewards the um, difficulty i don't think it's it's um, it's quite an issue um, as long as they give you at par rewards so i think the highest for each completion is only 250 zes that's pretty much very low so I think for me they should up this one um, to at least give more value to the players finishing the labyrinth every day the next would be the scout system so disappointing and very uh, what can I say it has potential but it's uh, very disappointing that the points required is very very big for each uh, for each general that, that you want to summon for i know the south the scout system has been paired with signature force but guys I, I i hope that they would make this more attainable and more realistic to attain uh, because we will be needing a lot of um, a lot of copies for our generals for signature force so if they want um, signature force to be used by more of the players this i think is uh, one of their solutions for that one our second to the last for the bad is your airship forge again this is pretty much very disappointing because i'd rather go to the to the door creation for my weapons and equipment because 
this does not give you a lot of difference when you do it in the door of creation um, also for the for the special weapons for each hero it doesn't really give that much it just gives the 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 hero additional 3000 combat power if it's a special weapon so the air for the airship forge i think should be reworked and um, i think it should be uh, more enticing for the players to get their weapons and equipment here rather than go to the door creation and the last for for the bad that needs to be reworked is our coliseum i'm actually good with the coliseum except that on, on the sixth battle um autoplay starts so i really don't like what they're doing uh with this one i just hope that they would allow the players to do this on manual so well i hope i hope they do it at at least up, up to the first 100 this then after that they could probably put it on auto or ha probably have it manual all, all the way for the better because number one the, the characters that that or the heroes that you get here is pretty much random and it's really hard to put up a good team even if you're doing the battles in random because most of the, the enemies that you encounter in the later stages are, are very hard already so here for the ugly these are things that they made that um, sometimes pisses you off um, it doesn't really help for the game I wish that they would try to um, at least take them out or improve them drastically because it doesn't make a difference in the game so to start off um, we have your shop deals so if you can remember if you are in the shop there aren't that much good deals especially for your mid-level spenders who who try to purchase for the shop and also the promos that they announce or that pop out in your screen are not even that good anymore so i wish that they would you know lower at least um, <coughs> how their items are being priced because I'm sure a lot of players would like to buy the items that they have there and they don't have that much uh, promos or, or items that are good in a bundle um, there are only a handful that I could think of so for the shop, it needs a major revamp. I mean, a um, major revamp, especially if you want to attract more players to the game. The next is, I'm not sure if everybody uh, notices, but it's the stat system. So I'll just give you guys an, an example. Um, usually a player uh, attacks in a sequence depending on attack speed right so if for example I have a Morris uh, Morris gives out an increased attack to for example all of your heroes in your team and you have for example a Dorka there so what if I, I want to increase the attack speed of Morris so that he would go first before Dorka and right now that's very impossible in the game because the disparity between attack speed of the heroes is pretty much big and the modifiers and enhancements and the gear give only so little 
um, let's say for example in your in your gears I think the maximum number of points that you can give or to to add to your attack speed is only four so it doesn't give much um, doesn't give much uh, creativity in in making your characters move uh, ahead of each other and it applies to all of the stats as well let's say for example i want to improve the defense of my squishy characters it's really hard because the modifiers in the game is very small that you cannot really um, modify it that much so again if they could fix the stat system this would be great and my least favorite task of the day is doing your dispatch your dispatch is uh, what can I say I can't say anything good about this one I just hope that uh, they would just take this out because even the rewards here are very underwhelming unless they change this this is just a task that players will do just to comply with whatever needs to be done for the day so i hope they upgrade this patch or they take this out the other one uh, which was just released recently is uh, the awakening system i think the awakening system was uh, brought out too soon for the level of players that have reached um, that high and I think the awakening system benefits only well uh, 5% or even less of the players playing the game um, some have have not even had uh, enough uh, faded weapons for this one and uh, some are new players and as I recall when I was uh, beginning this game it's really hard to get faded weapons and equipment and now the awakening system requires us to consume them so I think this was released pretty much very soon um, also for the awakening system I didn't like that they that one of the items to be consumed is your holy water of the universe it's hard enough to bless your heroes and now you have to use that same item for your awakening system I know this is a good bump up in your stats but the trade-off is pretty much so big and also if I may say um, the benefits that you have for your guardian stones before you awaken is different after you awaken so you have to make sure that your your hero has the same color and you have to make sure that the that the bonuses after awaken that hero benefits also the hero because you might not want what what he had before uh, when he was not awakened yet so again the awakening system is not really it doesn't help that's it it uh, gives the player base more problems right now than it's giving bonuses and again the the awaken system um, is for it's more for whales because they have a lot of faded gear already the next would be your signature force so your signature force is um, again the requirement is very steep because it requires uh, generals to be uh, transcended and it requires dupes 
for Signature Force to be fully utilized. So again, this is very hard to attain at this stage of the game right now. Well, um, I just hope that they could scale this down eventually in terms of, um, um, let's say for example, right now it's going to be Shufrak, Shufraken for North One Frosty. Why don't you scale down level one to a to a simpler hitter like, for example, Valentina, um, for for level one, then probably have a Shufraken at a higher stage. So I think this is still um, you, you signature force is is nice, but right now it's too difficult for even players to use this. And again, it, this benefits the whales um, who have extra copies of the generals for each nation. So the next one would be your nation tickets. So the nation tickets, again, is um, cannot be farmed. And uh, well, I tried a couple of times and the drop rate is similar to to the regular banners so I hope that the nation tickets can be farmable um, I know that they they want this uh, currency to be to be bought in the shop but I hope they could introduce this into the game which this would be farmable in the future and this one is one of the things that I hate the most so when you change the element of your hero um, you have to consume Zest so um, then the worst part of it it's random so every time you have to change it because of your awakening and for whatever change that you need to do to your hero you need to spend Zest for it and you don't know how much you're going to spend for it so again the element hero change I hope that they change this into a selective um, element rather than being random and also for the for the equipment it's also random um, and also the currency being used here that we use a lot is gold so just by changing the equipment uh, the, the element for equipment takes a lot of gold so I hope that you would know um, at least give us an option to select what we want even if it's at a higher price like for example for your element hero change they could charge 200 gold uh, sorry 200 zest as long as you could select um, the right uh, element that they want okay the next is the die system which is for me again is another waste of this the dice do not really give you uh, uh, means of improving your character apart from um, what they look like but i i think this is just a way of wasting this and um, because it in one of the threads that I've seen, one person spent around 4,000 this just to change the color of the, of the outfits of his heroes. So for me, that's, that's not really, really good. Um, again, this is just cosmetic and I hope that they would give us a way to farm this in the game for free. And the last for the ugly is your chapter 11. So a very big jump from chapter 10 in terms of difficulty. Um, this should have been or the difficulty should have been for chapter 12. So I don't know what, what went through their minds that they made this so difficult that a lot of people are struggling to finish chapter 11. Um, I myself have not restarted all of the stages because it's so hard. Um, I've just cleared everything though but I just wish that they deployed this one during chapter 12 they need not 
make this so difficult at this time so also i think for in any story mode this should be very relaxed it should be very very casual in playing story mode for any game the game so far has um, a good start in the game um, it has been a very good first three months so far so, and I love playing this game uh, no doubt and I will continue to be covering um, the game reviewing the game and sharing with you guys what I know and how to do so this game is um, should be enjoyable and not be a burden but also challenging as well so you have to have a balance between being challenging and a burden to the players so the develops all the developers also have to work on customer service and i think they should be able to have a community manager to help with issues for the game especially in terms of communication and how they um, explain things and on how every mechanic works and lastly as long as the developers listen to the community and not just think on how to abruptly monetize content i'm sure the game will be fine um, again in any business if you think of quickly monetizing it's difficult to attract new, new players and it's difficult to retain existing players so again I hope um, this uh, review for the first 100 days of Exos Heroes have been good. And uh, that concludes this video, guys. Let me know what you think about the video. Your opinions, uh, whether you disagree or agree with me, please leave them in the comments below. You all stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.